Yo folks, what you're going to see now is exclusive on this channel and you're not going to find it anywhere else. I had a chat with Youssef and in case you don't know Youssef, he is literally one of the best arena breakout players. That's it. He has 150 million plus storage value. He is destroying everybody in any kind of lobbies, TV station, armory, whatever he plays, he's good at it. Thermos, no thermos, fall, any weapon. He's already a legend in the game and what you can do is to pray not to meet him as an enemy. So if you haven't already, then jump over to Yusef's channel. You're going to find the link in the description. He deserves all the love. Uh, so big shout out to Yusef for doing this and basically supporting you guys, supporting the Arena Breakout community with his answers. Let's go. I want to thank you. I want to thank oh. you in the name of the whole community because I think People are just seeking this wow. type of experience. First of all, I want to ask you um, if you had any experience with other FPS games. I mean, it's very interesting that you are playing on a very high level. And if you now say that you have no experience from PUBG or COD Mobile, I would be super, super mm -hmm. surprised. So I have, I have played like like almost every single like mobile game before, like PUBG, Call of Duty, Lost Light. Like I have like a lot of experience in like mobile games. Mm -hmm. Like overall, not just like A, B, but okay. they were like, I've been like playing for like years. Okay, makes sense. And uh, when did you switch from two fingers, from two thumbs to like playing with four fingers? Uh, I actually never played two fingers when I started playing. I started like playing like three fingers at the beginning when I was start like playing PUBG. Like five or f four years ago, five years ago. And then mm -hmm. I slowly switched to like four fingers. What you just said and what you just shared kind of proves or validates that you just need to take the time <laughs> to practice to get better in the game. Yeah. And when you started the Arena Breakout, was it like hard to uh, get good in Arena Breakout? Or was it like that you felt from the very beginning that this is going to be super easy? Oh, it was really hard to be honest, because the first time when I played AB, I was playing like the Chinese version and, you know, there was like... <laughs> It was like an old version of the game, so it was like not telling you everything on the map, like mm -hmm. armory extractions or TV station extractions. So it was like really hard when I started the game and I was like dying a lot and stuff. And then slowly like learning and, you know, okay. and translating the stuff in Chinese version. How do you feel about the controls in Arena Breakout? So I think it's somewhat different compared to like PUBG, mm -hmm. like the movement and everything. Did you have a hard time like getting used to that? Oh yeah, I yeah, because it's like, like one of the best games like for like the settings and stuff because some games like have like lack of issue like like gyroscope and like the sensitivity but then you pick out like PUBG they don't have this this issue mm -hmm. so that's like this and and when you did that grind and kind of tried to get all all the experience did you play solo or did you play with friends or or a pre-made team oh yeah like at the beginning when I started playing the game I was playing like most of the time solo or like randoms and they were like, friends start playing the game. Because I find like it's more fun to play with friends. So mm -hmm. I was like playing with friends more after they found out about the game. And when the game became more popular after like season one. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. I mean, I am I fully agree. Um, I have a question regarding the map. So, you know, we all started on the farm. Um, yeah. And nowadays I see you playing mainly TV station and, and sometimes armory, but you don't really go back to the, like the like starting maps. Is there a specific reason for that? Yeah, because the loot and like the player base, like the good players only go like armory and TV station for now. Because we, uh, when I started playing the game, I, I had like probably like 2000 or 3000 hours just in farm. Mm -hmm. Because when people used to play farm all like before, and then I said switch because like the good players just playing armory and it's like more loot mm -hmm. and high gear players. You don't TV see me as well. You don't see me, but I'm smiling because you said you have two or three thousand mm. hours just on farm, and I yeah, think yeah, I have like <laughs> three thousand hours in farm. I think if if the viewers are gonna hear that, they're gonna go, "Oh my god!" They don't. Many of the players <laughs> don't even have thousand hours in total, to my understanding. I, I love the map because uh, in CBT one we used to have only farm and valley, I think, and North Bridge. So I was like, I play like one thousand hours only in CBT three. Now that you mentioned yeah. farm. You don't really play with thermos, right? Or do you? Not quite a lot. Sometimes we're like we're a full team, 
because usually when you are running thermal it's usually the full team because yeah. if you're solo it's like not easy mm -hmm. when you meet like full team of thermals i mean it's it's not easy to die because pretty much everyone's using h4s m905s or mk's m61s mm -hmm. and mk m61s is like two time anyways and you're gonna die so there's no chance like you can shoot like four people at the same time yeah yeah makes sense are you not playing thermals because you enjoy like the uh, classic pvp on tv station more or or you know because of the reason you said because you need a team yeah i actually enjoy like playing armor in tv station more than using thermals and farm because most of the people who are using only thermals and farm they usually like pay for the leaderboard like top 10 so they just like easily kill players like new players and stuff like that and mm -hmm. they get like rank points they just can't rank points most of the times Okay, I'm going to transition to another yeah. question because uh, what you just said, like the, the, the fact you li that you like yeah. Armory and TV Station, uh, I know that you love PvP and you're very good in PvP and you have a very aggressive playstyle. So I would be interested to hear that if you consider the casual players, so those players who are now sitting in Master or eventually Ace, would you encourage them to follow your game style and try to be aggressive or pushy or is this something they should be avoiding at that level um, it depends on on their skills if they have like like good aim and good movement they should like do more pvp because that's better for them because like when players have like good movements and aim if they usually like camp and they're gonna be like panicking and stuff and they're gonna lose because of that but if they have like if they are like like don't have like much skills for pvp they can just play like slow, they are low ranks, you can like abuse the mods because there's like always new mods in the game, like the 12 versus 12 in North Space, something like that. Mm -hmm. You can like easily rank up for casual players and like get better in these mods. You mentioned skill, like if somebody's having good aim and good skill, then they should be aggressive and pushy. But what if uh, there are players who can aim precisely, but they have that gear fear, they are, they are you know, panicking, do you have any kind of advice on how to overcome that? Oh yeah, for players like who have like gear fear, I mean, you don't need to always go like full T6 to have the gear fear. You can usually like, the best advice for them is like going like something cheap, like armor tier 4, mm -hmm. and then like going get good guns and good ammo, because that's usually better for players who have like gear fear. They are scared of lose the armor helmet. You can use like a decent gun, like a budget gun, but with good ammo. You pretty much answered my next question because I wanted to ask you about the loadout. Okay. And just to add to that, I think many of the players even have gear fear if they um, if they pick up T4. What would be your recommendation in terms of weapons? Are you recommending to go straight for the fall and you know try to master that, or do you have any like secondary um, recommendations on, on what they should focus on? Oh, there is a lot of options if they if they want to play like slow they can use like leg meta most of the times using leg meta is really good in the game in an mm -hmm. epic out and there's like there's like a lot of options if you play if you want to play fast and low budget tiers for example you can like use a file with the medis and you can just like go for pvp if they start using leg meta like dum dums do you think it's gonna help them improving in the game like on the long term or is it like um, you know, a specific game style that if you use Dum Dum, you're gonna stay a Dum Dum player forever. Mm, yeah, okay, you are not gonna stay like forever because if you usually like use everything, for example, like sometimes you use foul like and shooting their heads, and sometimes you, you want to use like Dum Dum's leg meta, that's mm -hmm. really good because that's gonna make you so much better in the game. That's gonna like make your skills better because you know how to play like every play style, like using leg meta sometimes or like sometimes using good guns and high gears mm -hmm. so that's like really good yeah it's a bit tricky because in the game if you start using all kind of things and you don't know what to do with them you're gonna lose it anyways so people need to be cautious on you know what to pick and why to pick that but i have one yeah. well, i have one more question regarding the weapon so um i think your primary gun is is definitely the full 1x uh, scope flashlight um what's the main reason for that uh, my main gun, the, I usually like use the one flashlight on like if uh, my new loadout is like foul and just one flashlight because I go for like fast ADS speed because mm -hmm. usually if you have like fast ADS speed your peak's gonna be faster in the game 
Mm -hmm. That doesn't tell you in the game, but it's actually true. Okay. And like one of the best scopes in the game is like 3.5x scope and or 4x scope because they are like very really cheap and it's very really good. All right. Um, I think we can pretty much covered all of the things I wanted to ask reading loadout and weapons. Um, and there's one more thing, your, your controls, your settings, because personally, I think that everybody should have their own like settings and controls and sensitivity, whatever makes sense for them. But I know that everybody is asking about layouts and settings. I know that you're playing on a, wi a very high sensitivity. And would you recommend others to follow that example? Because I, I'm, I'm sure I couldn't play on that high sensitivity. Yeah, that's true. It actually took me a lot of time to learn a sensitivity because if I'm using like low sensitivity or high sensitivity, I can like pretty much play the same style because mm -hmm. I've been like practicing for like uh, for like a lot of time in like games before overall. I try to like learn like different sensitivity. I can play like pretty much on everything, but if mm -hmm. you're new, Try to make like one sensitivity first, like try on medium first, and then try to slowly go back, like go slow sensitivity and then just go high sensitivity mm -hmm. and just see your gameplay style, which one is better for you, which one is fits your gameplay style. Yeah, understood. So it feels like that whatever you do, you're going to be good at it, regardless of your device or your sensitivity. It doesn't really matter yeah. to you anymore because you have so much practice. All right. I have one, one more related thing uh, regarding the, the gyro. So nope. if, if, if somebody is starting Arena Breakout now, would you recommend turning it on? And if yes, then why? Uh, if people usually like played games before, like PUBG, 80% mm -hmm. uh, of the players in PUBG Mobile, they use like gyroscope. And if you're new like to gyroscope or Arena Breakout, you should try it once at least. I mean, you should practice a little bit because gyroscope is really important in the game. Like for aim, it's gonna make your aim so much better. Mm -hmm. And because you, you are not gonna be using like your fingers to aim in, to like control the recoil. So you're gonna have like one more finger to like do something else, like spam picking or like crouching. It's actually gonna take like a lot of, not a lot of time. But when I started playing gyroscope, it took me like almost like two months mm -hmm. to get like fully like comfortable with gyroscope, two or three months get like fully comfortable with gyroscope it's gonna take a while but it's really good you just made me want to use gyro like you know if you're gonna you end, if we're gonna end this i'm gonna hop into the game and try it even if i die i don't i don't care i don't mind about you know losing stuff so i'm gonna definitely uh try it all right um now i don't want to make this video very long or super long because otherwise you know people are okay. gonna get boring bored so i i want to i want to thank you for answering uh the questions so okay. big, big shout out to you. Thank you for, for being here. Thank you for sacrificing your time. And, um, you know, hopefully it's going to bring you new subscribers. Like, you know, you, you would, I think you definitely yeah. deserve more. The, the way you play the game, I think it's super scary. So, um, and, and also one more thing. So the, the, the way you are running your streams, I think it's pretty awesome. I don't know how you do it, but you play the game and then you react to the chat which is very exceptional because most of the people, you know, either play the game yeah. or they read the chat. So I'm, I really hope that you're going to reach at least 50,000 in the upcoming months. I truly hope. Yeah, thank you. Shit. Yeah, I'll try my best because uh, I'm not like being like very active on YouTube sometimes because with like have like work and stuff. I'm going to try my best to support you. And again, thanks for the chat and thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye. You're welcome.